What up Dromies? I'm going to show you how to cultivate Jadon Microbial Solution. But first, let's talk about what Jadon Microbial Solution is. Much like uh, the great companies out there like Recharge and Plant Revolution who uh, supply great plant microbes for our soil and uh, propagation purposes, uh, Jadon Microbial Solution is much the same thing, but the microbes are sourced from your local area. So they tend to last a bit longer and live a bit longer in your soil and have a little bit more vigor because they already came from your environment. Now you can make crop specific Jadon Microbial Solutions, but this is a much more advanced topic that we'll go over later on. So let's get right into how to make this really great general Jadon Microbial Solution that works on almost any crops and will really um, boost your microbial population in your soil and therefore helping out all your plants. Let's get into it. Now the first thing you're going to need is what's called leaf mold soil. So you're going to try to go out in your nearest uh, old growth forest and look for some leaves that have been there for quite some time. And if you dig up the leaves just a little bit, you should find this uh, white fluffy stuff that's called mycelium or a mycelial network. And uh, this is what you're looking for. You're also going to be looking for a little bit of the soil that's directly underneath those leaves that you found. And you're only looking for about a pound of material or so. You're not trying to take the whole forest. We're, we're here to try to regenerate things, not to uh, pilfer and take things. Now this is the sample that I happen to take here. And a little bit, you know, make sure you get a little bit of that hyphal, uh, white, fluffy um, network there, as well as some of that soil that was beneath it. Like I said, you only need about a pound of the material. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is some potatoes or a starch of some kind. It can be rice as well. You're gonna wanna boil it until it's kind of a soft, but with a little bit of hardness to it yet. And then you're also gonna need around 15 grams of sea salt for a four gallon batch. You're gonna wanna add the 15 grams of sea salt in. Now this adds a bunch of really great minerals um, from the sea. It literally has almost all the minerals that you can think of. Um, I think it's over 83 different um, minerals that you can be found in sea salt. And then you're gonna wanna add the um, cooked potatoes and or rice into um, a nylon bag. Now hopefully the bag has some uh, decent sized holes in it. This is a design compost tea bag that has a little bit larger holes. But if you don't have one of those, you can use a cheesecloth or um, you know any rag that has a decent amount of space in between the holes. You don't want an extremely high thread count uh, like t-shirt or a sheet or a pillowcase because that, it's not going to let the fungal bodies out. Now once you have that all in the bag, you're going to want to place it in the water and uh, kind of break up the potatoes if you use the potatoes. And that's pretty much how you make Jadon Microbial Solution. Um, you're going to want to let this sit for 24 to 36 hours. And the way you're going to be able to tell um, when it's done is the, there's going to be bubbles that form on the top, much like this. And you want to use it right at the peak of the bubbles. The bubbles are a great indicator of the microbial count and activity in the Jadon microbial solution. So after the bubbles are gone, it's more of a fertilizer solution and not really a microbial solution because all the, the population has died back down and you know, you'll be pouring a bunch of dead microbes and fungal bodies out there for that your current microbes can eat on. Now you're going to want to dilute this and then use it right on your crops. I happen to use uh, four gallons into this 32 gallon reservoir and I used it right directly on my crops and it's much like a compost tea. You're going to have a good microbial boost and great uptake of nutrients and good uh, plant health and immunity. Thanks for watching, Gromies. Make sure you check me out on CLTV on Sundays. Make sure you check out Jariah Black over there doing great can assist sessions over there. Also check out Black Lotus Meditation and Zen and get your uh, meditation on. Make sure you check all the links in the descriptions and get a little bit of discounts on some of the grow gear you need. And once again, thanks again for watching.
Have a good one, Gronies.